Okay, so after searching the entire property to find the perfect tree for the chicken's treehouse area, we are gonna use this tree right here because it's so grand and beautiful. So what we're gonna try to do is enclose netting going around this whole tree so that they've got all these perches and spaces, little hideout spaces and stuff for them to be able to have a natural environment. And so we are gonna take this carport which was on the property um, left behind when we moved here. And we are gonna enclose the walls, put nesting boxes and stuff like that, and then take this building and run netting from off the front of the building to the tree and around the tree. So this will be their new aviary area. So we're gonna start building the building now. <laughs> So the first thing that we have to do is build out the walls. So we're taking sheets of plywood and metal screws and screwing the plywood into the beams. And this will create the walls. So for the sides, we decided to use four by eight sheets of wood just because they were a little bit cheaper and predators couldn't get through them. So we cut them to size using the circular saw. So we put the boards in place and we secured them using these wood to metal self-tapping screws. Bring it all the way to, bring it all the way to the top. Yeah, one, one like skylight kind of, except in the middle of the wall. A skylight is in the sky, right? Is it like a wall light? <laughs> <laughs> it's a wall light then. I love it. We're just gonna we're gonna slice those boards and we're just gonna run them just like this across the top though. So this piece will you know the top board will only be 18 inches or 19 on this side. And we'll just run this board all the way across right. and then this opening right here will be the window. Mm -hmm. And we'll put the, the mesh in there. And then the front and the back will do the, the goofy okay, windows. windows. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. so this way they have the ventilation because otherwise right. it's gonna be pitch dark do, in here. Do you want the ventilation too high, that high up, or we'll right have, here? We'll have it right from here to right here. So as you can see here, teamwork makes everything possible. One person working, two people watching. We're slicing the wood here for the uh, top portion of the side walls. Again, just using the four by eight sheets and and cutting them to size, using the uh, wood to metal self tapping screws to hold them in place. The Twenty inches is right there. <laughs> saw is right there. I'm gonna step by step you. We're gonna we're gonna do this together, okay? <laughs> For all y'all people at home right now, you know, you go and get in, you grab your drill. See, we gotta switch gears, folks. Taking more time. I wanted you was one cut. Now we gotta set up a new tool. All right, now everybody at home, we need you to switch gears too with us. We're gonna <laughs> put this handsaw away. We're gonna get out the big mega dealer. All right. So now that we have the side walls with the windows. <laughs> so that the chickens can see out. Now we have to start on the um, end walls with the doors in them. So to build our back wall, we used a four by four along the ground. We started in the middle with two by fours to make our door opening. And we used the one by six boards, just cutting the tops at an angle to uh, make the overall wall. On the fronts, we decided to use these four by eight sheets again, because we're gonna put some cute doors on the front for the chickens to go in and out of. We use these uh, two by fours to make the door opening. And then to go ahead and match the back, we're gonna go ahead and use the one by six again, just cutting the tops to match the angle of the roof. And we're gonna use another one by six to go ahead and just trim it out, make it look cute. And we'll do the same exact thing to the other side. And as you can see, it really doesn't matter if the bottom boards don't line up completely all the way because you're gonna use that other board and trim it out. Now we're gonna start building the front door. It's a pocket door, it's gonna slide in and out of the wall. It's going to be extra heavy duty so that predators can't get in and out of it. And we made it out of two by fours and two by sixes. So as you can see, we built one door. Looks pretty, pretty fancy. My lines line up pretty, pretty good. Not too bad. And uh, we're going to see if our wall over there can hold the weight of this 500 pound door. So all we did here was set the door on top of the four by four that we have on the ground that built the wall. And we took a two by six and laid it behind the door and kind of just locked it in there. 
so this way the door has a track to slide on. Eventually we're just going to add a track with some wheels and rollers to make it slide a lot easier, but for the time being it works out. And then we took some scrap pieces of wood that we had left over from the door and made a cute little step. Now with some 4x4s that we had, we're going to go ahead and build the stand for the nesting boxes that we bought. And we're going to put this in the center of the floor and put the nesting boxes on top of it. So we use the 4x4s and the 2x4s to make this table. And we're going to reinforce it really, really good so that it can hold the weight. There you can see Joe swinging from it, so it shouldn't be a problem for some chickens. And then with some more 4x4s that we had and 1x6s, uh, we went ahead and made a deck for the front of the chicken coop. As you can see, everything's coming along nicely. We're going to take some um, wire chicken mesh to put in the windows there. That's the finished product for the door. The stand for the nesting boxes is coming along nicely. And we should have this done in no time. So here's a couple nesting boxes that we found on Facebook. We went ahead and picked them up. We uh, pressure washed them off, made them look all nice and clean. And we got a bunch of fluorescent colors here. And Alyssa and Shelby are going to go ahead and paint them up. When we picked these up, they were super dirty. So we went ahead and pressure washed them off. As you can see Trina here with the pressure washer cleaning them up right before we got ready to paint them. Okay, so while they're building the walls and the doors of the chicken coop, Shelby and I are gonna start working on the nesting boxes. We are gonna add our little touch of color and bring these rusty boxes back to life. <laughs> Nesting boxes are totally done, just have to add bedding. Definitely fits in a lot better now. <laughs> so here we're making some perches. We took some 4x4s and mounted them across the ceiling so we had something to brace it to. And we put these 2x4s down to the main brackets. And we're just gonna run some more 2x4s across here and make the perches. So we just measured about 18 inches apart and ran the 2x4s uh, all the way up to the ceiling. With Trina's assistance, I was able to get these in and now the chickens have somewhere to perch. All right guys, so now we're gonna build some gnome style doors for the front of our building here. So right there and right there, we're gonna make some chicken doors so we don't have to open this big door every time to let the chickens out. So we're gonna make some smaller doors and I'm gonna make some like gnome inspired style mini doors here. So what I got is a piece of wood. I drew some patterns on here for some doors that I like and we're gonna cut those out with this right here. And then we're going to build some frames and mount some doors. So what we've decided to do now is we're going to put both on the one side. So this way, you know, you can have like a fire and ice kind of morning or whatever you want, you know, we'll see which ones the chickens prefer to come out. Where's your paintbrush? I don't want to use a paintbrush. If you watch closely, you can watch magic in the making. <laughs> So after rummaging around in my garage, I found a few old license plates and I cut this out of these old license plates and made these brackets. It's a little Chip and Joanna Gain accent little thing out there. $47. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, I just had to have it. I had to have it. Okay. All right, moving forward. <laughs> That's so cute. It looks like a little gnome's hat. <laughs> Again, if you look closely, magic. Now, I pre drilled these holes to make sure I didn't split my little wood here. It wouldn't be good if we split the wood. So, we pre drilled, and now we can drill. Probably wondering why I'm using this long extension. Somebody lost my shorter one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got one gnome door almost completed. So 
so cute. Too much of a gap at the bottom there. You see it? So what are you gonna do to fix that? So isn't that why you're supposed to like measure twice and cut once like you always say? Well, I'm putting trim around the outside of the door, so it really doesn't matter. Mm, you are, are you? Yeah. How are you going to trim that out? On well, gnome style. What does that mean? I guess you'll just have to tune into next week's episode to find out. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just add more wood. <laughs> I want you to think like a gnome. So like if we were a gnome, right? We wouldn't be able to like carry big things, right? So we'd have to like build with small things. So what I want to do is I want to cut these things into like squares, right? And then like, you know, we can glue and I can staple and we can build this cute little gnome wall out of wood and we can stack it all around the front of this and make it look pretty. What do you think? Mm. You're not feeling it? All right. Now I'm upset, guys. <laughs> I turned, I'm upset that you guys don't want to. I turned the camera off for your temper tantrum. Partake in our custom <laughs> articulation here. All right, I got another plan. He's got another plan. We're taking walks. Yeah, we're taking walks. find some sticks I like that idea random sticks that's gonna probably oh, oh I'm God. sorry <laughs> okay so here we want driftwood Drift find the driftwood I got a good amount and we should build, you know, around the doors and make them look cutesy. That's your live edge. A couple pieces right here. That is so cute. Man, you guys, we killed that. Chicken. All right, so we are not totally done building our chicken coop just yet, but it's a safe structure. The walls are up, the doors are up, and we gotta get the chickens out of the cages that we had them in. So we're gonna start unloading all the chickens into their new home. Let's do it. Yay! All right, let's go get the rest of them. Can we get out? No, you can't come out. Secret passwords. Um, bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this way. It's a cannon. Hey, got it. It's just not going to work. Almost done. Couple more. Here they come. Stay stampy. One chicken. This one's mine. So we're 
we find like a dead tree or something, put them on the corners. For purchase? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we found a dead tree in the yard and we're gonna, gonna just trim it up so that it's a little bit more stable. Cut off the dead ends of it and the thin ends so that it's nice and strong. And this way they have a natural perch inside of their chicken coop. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Are you gonna test it out? Perch on the branch, see if it's strong enough. Just back up. Give him a minute or two. He'll be up there. The chicken it out now. What is this? Something new to play with. Give you a little stimulation. Here we go. Ooh, girls! All this is you! <laughs> Peanut butter. Casper, what do you guys think? <laughs> Alright, so one of my absolute favorite parts about our chicken coop is the chandelier. And unfortunately, we weren't able to take our old chandelier with us due to years of being used. It was just sort of falling apart and nasty. Um, and after we built this awesome new chicken coop, I figured, you know, our chickens really deserve a chandelier. I mean, what chicken does it, you know? So $40 on Amazon, I kind of had to do it. These chandeliers are so perfect for enrichment and stimulation for the chickens. So let's hang it up. All right, time for the final result. <laughs> let's see if they're home. See if the girls are up for some visitors. Hi guys, what do you think of your new chicken coop? I hope you girls love it. <laughs> Alright, I'll give them their space so they can decorate and make it homey. <laughs> and then now that the chicken coop is all built, the next thing is to net in this giant tree for a big aviary. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>